Hey guys, welcome to our third episode of the TGB show, uh, the Truth, Goodness, and Beauty show. And today I'm going to be sharing with you a poem from one of my favorite authors, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. And this poem is actually being sung in the midst of one of his works, The Hobbit. You remember he wrote The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, but it is sung by a company of dwarves, Thorin and Company. And they share this poem with Bilbo the Hobbit to speak about the sadness that's within their heart, the sadness of losing their homeland, this sense of loss, this sense of something from the past, which was beautiful, which was good, and was ripped away from them. And now they are wanderers in this valley of tears. Can think of that in terms of even the doctrine of original sin, this original memory that the human race has, that we weren't always broken. There was a time in which the human race, in the beginning, was right, was whole, and yet something came in that ripped us away from Eden. And now we are outside in the Valley of Tears, searching for that way back. And you'll even hear that in the midst of this poem, the sense of loss, the sense of a lost age from the past, and yet this hope that one day we continue to search and search in order to find that long forgotten goal. So now, without further ado, I give you Far Over the Misty Mountains Cold. Far over the misty mountains cold, to dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. The dwarves of yore made mighty spells, while hammers fell like ringing bells in places deep where dark things sleep, in hollow halls beneath the fells. For ancient king and elvish lord, there many a gleaming golden hoard, they shaped and wrought, and light they caught to hide in gems on hilt of sword. On silver necklaces they strung, the flowering stars on crowns they hung. The dragon fire and twisted wire, they meshed the light of moon and sun. Far over the misty mountains cold, to dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away ere break of day to claim our long forgotten gold. Goblets they carved there for themselves, and harps of gold where no man delves. There lay they long, and many a song was sung unheard by men or elves. The pines were roaring on the height. The winds were moaning in the night. The fire was red, it flaming spread. The trees like torches blazed with light. The bells were ringing in the dale, and men looked up with faces pale. The dragon's ire, more fierce than fire, laid low their towers and houses frail. The mountain smoked beneath the moon. The dwarves, they heard the tramp of doom. They fled their hall to dying fall, beneath his feet, beneath the moon. Far over the misty mountains grim, to dungeons deep and caverns dim, we must away ere break of day to win our harps and gold from him. God bless you and have a wonderful day. And as they say in Elvish, Elen sala luminum tielvo, may a star shine out at our meeting next time.